to rescue us with arms outstretched upon the cross the greatest gift the rebel storms within us rage. We will fear the Lord. When death, disease, and darkness reign, we will fear the Lord. All things will bow His command to bring us good from what would not Secure in sovereign arms, we will fear the Lord. Our Father free gave his son.
Good evening, everybody. Thank you for staying with us this evening for our week two concert. I still see some people coming in from the rain with a nice coffee or a hot chocolate in hand. That is good to see. Well, it certainly has been a blessing for me this week to have Colin and Phil in, uh, as a band with us, hasn't it? And what a blessing it is to be able to stay here this evening and sing some worship songs together with the band. So, I am now going to hand over to you. Welcome, and thank you for being with us. Thanks so much, Judy. Give Judy a round of applause. She's been fantastic this week with Martin leading. It is a great joy to, uh, to have you all join us for our concert. Um, this is Colin Webster and Phil Moore. We're based in Nottingham, uh, where we're both on staff at Cornerstone Church. There's a bit of a whoop for Nottingham. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they great. They're all here. <laughs> we work at Cornerstone Church in Nottingham, and you're all warmly invited to join us sometime at Cornerstone Church. Maybe not all at once, but uh, we'd love you to come and join us sometime there. That would be great. Um, Colin, there's lots of people who've stayed this evening. This is great. And they're not all Scots, so it's not just because it's free. Oh. Uh, we're going to play, uh, to start with, the first song that Colin and I actually wrote together. I think it was back in about 2010, 2011, um, when I was very young, and Colin was just a little bit younger than he currently is. Um, actually, Colin's had a big birthday just in the last couple of weeks. I'm not going to tell you uh, how old he is, but it ends in a zero. Good to have a show of hands. And it doesn't start You're with an eight. <laughs> you don't look a day over, over uh, 59, Colin, it's fine. <laughs> uh, we're going to start with a song called Holy Father, Rich in Mercy, which really is our kind of Trinitarian hymn. And uh, we wanted to put into writing, if you look at some of the old hymn books, there's lots of hymns which talk about God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And this kind of walks through um, each, each member of the Godhead and their roles. So um, please do sing along if you know it and, and learn it if you don't. Uh, all of the songs this evening are designed to be congregational songs which we'd love you to take home and use in, in your local church or to be a blessing to you as you listen to them. Holy Father, rich in mercy, Holy Savior, rich in grace, great in glory, everlasting, how I long to see your face. Lead me to your new creation, lead me to your throne of love, giving glory to the Father, to the Spirit. Jesus Christ, our risen Savior, shepherd of the weak and lost, the author of our great salvation, through the power of the cross, lead from glory to glory, safely held by arms of love, so to dwell with you forever, bringing praises to our God, giving glory to the Father, giving glory to the Son, giving glory to the Spirit. The blessed three in one. Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, breath of heaven, make me holy through your word. Break the chains of sin's destruction. Fix my eyes upon you, Lord. And when I wander from your 
together giving glory giving glory to the father giving glory to the son giving glory to the spirit the blessed three I want to ask a few questions just to get to know you a little bit better. It's not like we scripted this or anything. Colin, what was your first job? What was the first job you ever did? Uh, the first job I ever did was I was a butcher. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Very good. Yeah. When I was 16, that was my first job. Excellent. I only did it for a year, and then I actually went back to school. When Colin checks his notes, he asks me, what is your first job, Phil? Oh, thank you for asking, Colin. Uh, my got, first job. No, no, what is your first job? <laughs> I forgot. I, I was just turning my page over. What is your first job? Very smooth and rehearsed. Uh, my first job was actually a greengrocer. So we, we've got a greengrocer and a butcher. So there you go. We're halfway there to a Sunday roast. Now, Phil, you did an our job as well. Because you did something with quails. <laughs> go on. You've got to tell them about the quails. Okay. So when I was, a teen, I was an unusual teenager... I've not much has changed, to be fair. But um, I actually used to buy, uh, for a little while I had chickens, and we kind of upgraded from chickens. We wanted to have some quail. Because I was working in the greengrocer shop, I thought, here's a great way of making some money. So we used to sell the chickens' eggs at the greengrocer, and then we thought, well, you can get a bit more money for quail's eggs. So I got some quail and sold those. And then I actually had a little, as a 15-year-old, a little online business selling fertilized quail eggs. That's niche, isn't it? But, uh, yeah, I went to university with a few quid in my pocket, ready to do that. Good. <laughs> right. What was the first song that you ever wrote? The first song I ever wrote was based on Psalm 51. As a 16-year-old, um, which Psalm 51 is going to have mercy on me, O oh God. And, uh, you know, just looking at my life and thinking, you know, I've got a lot, lot to give to God. A lot of, <laughs> lot, lot of sin in my life that I need to uh, kind of repent of. And so I wrote a song about Psalm 51. What about you, Colin? What was the first song you ever wrote? Um, well, Phil, I wish I could say that mine was much more spiritual than yours. Um, but um, yeah, it was when I was in primary school and the first song, and I kid you not, it was, please spend a penny. <clears throat> Don't ask me to sing it, but I can still remember it. Go on then. No. <laughs> sing along. <laughs> I do actually know for a fact that you had another song about one of your teachers at school. Oh, he's naughty. He shouldn't have said that. She was called Mrs. Muir. And I think the rhyme was, Mrs. Muir is quite obscure. I was in my rebellious teenage years. <laughs> when did you first come to the Keswick Convention, Colin? Uh, back in 18, uh, 19... <laughs> uh, 90, I'm giving my age away. Uh, 1987 was the first time that, that I came to Keswick, and uh, uh, Tim Buckley uh, had actually invited the Salt Mine Band, so uh, I was playing in the Salt Mine Band at the time, playing an electric guitar, actually, and uh, Jeff Baker, I don't know if, how many of you would remember Jeff Baker, but he was our musical director. Was anybody here in 1987 at Keswick? Fantastic, there you go. Great, yeah. So that was my first one. What about you? When did you first come? I first came, came uh, well, you asked me to come. <laughs> Glad you came. Back in 2007. Um, it was really interesting, really. I feel like I'd been on a, on a journey as, as a kind of young musician. I started playing piano in church when I think I was about 10 or 11. And um, I think, you know, as, 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 as a bit of an idol for young people can be that you want to be on a stage, you want to be in front of people, you want to have opportunities to kind of perform and play. And I'd really kind of been mentored by Colin as a student and 
kind of led into a place where actually the highest calling that we can ever have is to the people that God's placed in front of us. So if you're a musician serving in your local church, the highest calling that God has given us is the people we're called to our children's groups or our youth groups or to our little congregation, whatever it might be. And then uh, I, I kind of was settled with that idea and that concept. And then Colin said, would you like to come and, and serve at the, at the Keswick Convention? So I remember being terrified as I played the piano for the first time in front of a big crowd here at Keswick. But it's been a great blessing over the years. And he's done it ever so well, hasn't he? Uh, okay, right, just final couple of questions. What's your favorite song, Colin, that I wrote? <laughs> <laughs> Shameless, <laughs> as ever. Um, it, I, I actually think it's the one that we sang tonight. Um, I actually think that is uh, going to have a lot of legs to it in terms of serving the church. Uh, so it's that one, Lord Jesus, build your church uh, today. That, that, the words of... Uh, uh, Tim Chester and uh, your melody, just brilliant. Very easy to sing along to, but also just such a brilliant theme and, and a subject matter. So, yeah, I, that's my favorite. So, Phil, uh, <clears throat> what's your least favorite song of mine? <laughs> well, the next song we're going to sing... <laughs> No, I couldn't possibly say. I, I really like uh, all of the songs that you've written, Colin. Oh, that, <laughs> they're all that was, great. That was really cheesy. <laughs> okay, well, the next song that we are going to sing um, is uh, a, a song that uh, uh, I wrote back in 2014. In fact, it was as Vaughan Roberts was preaching on Romans. And I still hadn't quite finished the song. And it's quite daring to, to even road test... A, uh, uh, well, not even to, to do a song that hasn't been road tested in your, your home church. Um, and, uh, and so the first people to ever hear the song were actually the people at, at Keswick. And the band just encouraged us, look, it, this song seems to be uh, reasonably good, so let's sing it. So uh, the song just really is based around my own sense of awe of the, the, the generosity of God and his grace towards us. You know, when I, when I saw that line uh, that Paul wrote to Timothy, I am the worst of sinners. Whenever I saw that, I wanted to score it out and put my name because I actually felt I was the worst of sinners. I just couldn't quite grasp the, the generosity of God that he would ever forgive the likes of me. And perhaps you feel that uh, as well, but... Uh, over the years, I, I just grew to understand uh, more fully and, uh, and powerfully how deep and wide and long and high and deep is the love of God that is found in Christ Jesus. So we'll sing this song. Sacrifice, ransom, and 
joy each year at Keswick to be surrounded by um, great musicians who serve alongside us here in, in the band. Let me just take a moment to introduce the band uh, to you, uh, who they are. Uh, I'm going to go for the back row first. We've got uh, Calvin Hollingworth on electric guitar over here. <laughs> Calvin is a great friend and is a, an excellent electric guitar player, and we're, we're so blessed to have him with us. He plays with a, a band called Treasure Fields who are really worth checking out on Spotify. I've got lots of, of albums recorded there and, uh, and other ones they're recording at the minute, actually, which are going to come out hopefully in the next year or so. Uh, so do check them out. Uh, on the back row behind me, we've got uh, Joe Crossley on bass guitar. <laughs> and in the cage behind us, who we occasionally let out, we've got Archie Rowell, who's our drummer, uh, who's drummed with us several times. Give Archie a round of applause. I first met Archie when he was 16, and I was leading worship at uh, probably the strangest place I've ever led worship, the Tamworth Snow Dome. And uh, I was playing the piano, and behind me, you could see through a glass window people falling over on the way down the ski slope, because it was an indoor ski slope. Anyway, I needed a drummer, and Archie came and played when he was 16, and he's been with us a couple of years later. He came and joined us in the Keswick Band. These guys play in a, in a group called Joyful Noise. Uh, really recommend Joyful Noise to you. It's a great, uh, great band to listen to and uh, serving at various events around the country. They've got a couple of albums out on Spotify as well. Some brilliant songs, congregational songs that you can use in your church as well. Uh, and on the front, we've got uh, Catherine, Kat Dur here. <laughs> Catherine has been singing with us uh, as long as, as I've been involved with playing at, at, at Keswick with Colin, and uh, we're really blessed by your tones. Heels from Northern Ireland as well, so we've got the kind of Celtic mix on the front here. And new for this year, Joe's wife, Lani, who's singing with us as well. <laughs> Brilliant. Would you like to hear a new song? Yeah. Yes. Good, because it's the next one we're going to play. 
Um, so we're going to play a song called Hiding in Your Love. And um, this, uh, this song was, was written based on the book of Jude. And it has in the chorus, um, or the kind of second half, has this kind of repeated line, you will keep us to the end. You know, sometimes it can feel in the Christian life that we're clinging on, that we're kind of hanging on like by a thread. Maybe you felt like that as, you, as you've come from um, your home situation to Keswick, a place to kind of recharge your faith, to drink deeply on God's words. And, and this is really important, isn't it, that we remember that, that if we trust in, in Christ, if we really trust in him, he will keep us. He will keep us to the end. So let's sing this together. Our faithful friend through the Holy Spirit's presence, you will keep us to the end for the faith entrusted to us. Boy, we steadfastly content, confident in your protection. You us to the end. Though our faith is often slandered, though we face disturbing truths, you will keep us in the turmoil. song um, that we're going to sing is uh, called Your Great, Your Cross Has Said It All. And again, it just focuses in the, the fact that, that 
God chooses not to see beyond the blood of Christ. And sometimes when the, the, the enemy tries to, the devil tries to uh, bring up things from our past, we have to look at the cross. We look at the cross and see the finished work of, of Jesus. And so that's what the, the song is based uh, upon. This, uh, this next song uh, is, uh, is a song that uh, emerged from a, a challenge that someone put to us. They, they basically said, could you write something for the, uh, the anniversary of Remembrance, uh, Remembrance Day? And so uh, 
when that, things like that happen, we just basically write to Tim Chester and say, Tim, can you come up with some words? And Tim came up with some words, and Phil and I had a look at it. And we usually just hum along, don't we? That's what we do. You, get, yeah. you write the words, and we'll hum along. <laughs> yeah, so um, we, we just started to write uh, and sent the song to, to Tim, and he, he was happy with it. And it's, it's been a song that's been used in a number of churches for the Remembrance Day um, services, although it can be used uh, beyond that as well. But uh, this is called the Remembrance Hymn, and Catherine and Phil will lead us in that. Beautiful. Catherine's got such a, such a beautiful voice, and, uh, and uh, you could see some of the language from, the, from Isaiah in, in that, uh, that song as well. So it's a, it's a, and the fact that he touches upon the, the modern-day issue of, of refugees in our land. So it's, it's a song that can be used certainly beyond um, just the Remembrance Day. That leads us on to another song that Catherine is going to be leading us in. It's a song called The Day Will Dawn. And it, originally, I just wrote it as a, a song that people could listen to a bit. Um, uh, but uh, Peter Lewis, who was our minister for 46 years at Cornerstone, uh, sadly he passed away um, uh, just last year. But uh, Peter, when he heard it, he said, we really ought to get the congregation to sing this. And uh, I kind of resisted. Um, and then eventually one of the, the team just chose it uh, for the service and the congregation sang it. And I didn't realize until that moment, actually, yeah, a congregation can sing this, this song. 
Um, and one of the things that, uh, that as a pastor you're aware of is that actually even in this room, there isn't a single one of us that doesn't sit below a pool of tears. Some might be the size of a teaspoon, others the size of an ocean. You just never know who you're sitting next to, what hurts, what pains, what sadness has happened in our lives. But the one thing about the Christian faith is that we can be sure of this. All of our suffering comes with an expiry date. All of our suffering comes with an expiry date. Because God says he will wipe away every tear from their eyes. This is a day will dawn.
poor mistakes we can't forget and the sins that still be set we have a land we have a land for our fraught and anxious realm for the fears that overwhelm we have a throne we have a throne disappointments, the fears, the anxieties, the tears that we might have, that we might know. 
your love is greater. You go deeper than every sin, every sorrow. Thank you that you are with us in the storm. And that the storm does come to an end. Help us to trust in you as you lead us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. That was a song I wrote um, with um, my friend Glenn Scrivener, who uh, is an evangelist uh, working dive on the South Coast, and he wrote a, uh, a poem. And one day I saw the, the poem pop up on, uh, on social media, and I just immediately had that tune in my head. Sometimes it happens like that. I don't know, maybe you wake up with melodies. Colin and I certainly wake up with melodies, and we quickly record them on our phone. I'm not going to ask you to share those <laughs> raw recordings with everyone just now. Anyway, I want them. <laughs> if anything happens to you, I want your phone. Um, <laughs> um, but I did ask the band earlier on to send me, just so it'd be nice to get to know the band a little bit more, um, um, and uh, just to send me a, an interesting fact about yourself. And I thought maybe we could have a little go at guessing who in the band this might be. Okay, the first one is this one. My hometown chip shop is the birthplace, refuted to be, the birthplace of the deep fried Mars bar. Who do you think that might be? Colin, it's Colin. Yeah, where is it, Colin? It's uh, the Karen Chippy. This is product and, placement, everyone. And uh, the, the, yeah, they were the first to do the deep fried Mars bar and uh, have moved on to uh, Colin the Caterpillar, deep fried. <laughs> Did you get one of those for your birthday? Yeah. You should have done. <laughs> okay, next one's this one. Um, someone in the band has consumed an entire bottle of J2O using only a chopstick. One chopstick. That's interesting, isn't it? Using only a chopstick. Who do you think that might be? Archie. Yeah, sounds like his kind of trouble, isn't it? Yeah, that was actually Joe. Joe, how did you do it? Just kept on going. How did it take you hours? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, let's have uh, one or two more. What else have we got? Um, okay, someone in the band once got pushed off the stage and fractured their skull while singing a song in, at a concert. Let's hope that doesn't happen tonight. Who do you think that might be? Yes, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was seven years old and I was singing, I think it was Away in a Manger in a Christmas concert oh. on the front row. And somebody behind me, it was one of the girls. One of the girls behind me decided it'd be really funny if they pushed me off the stage. Anyway, there we go. They, had, they wrote me a, a, a very, very nice sorry letter. And I forgave them, so there you go. Uh, okay, here's another one. Um, okay, someone in the band was just practicing CPR this morning. Who do you think that might be? You could work this out. Somebody in the band wasn't here this morning. Actually, a couple of people weren't. Lani, that's right. Lani. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Lani is a doctor. Well, Nearly a doctor. You're, you're, you're officially allowed to be called a doctor. Is this a time not to get ill? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't come to Lancaster Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure you're great. You're fantastic. Right, okay. We're going to sing, um, oh, let's say, one more song. Uh, this song is uh, We Have an Anchor, which we wrote a few years ago. And uh, I was thinking about that picture of the anchor. You know, I saw this image of, of an anchor on a boat. And, and if you look at an anchor on a boat, sometimes the anchor looks very small in comparison to how big the boat is. It looks like it's not strong enough. It's not able to hold the boat firm in the storm. And, you know, I think sometimes people can look at Jesus, especially maybe at Christmas time, and we see the baby Jesus born in a kind of frail humanity. And we could think oh, that, that the baby Jesus is not strong enough. Jesus is not strong enough. But we know he is more than strong enough. He is able to hold us in the strongest storm. So why don't we, why don't we rise to our feet and we'll sing, uh, We Have an Anchor. Storms 
thoughts of life when the clouds unfold their wings of strife when the strong tides lift and the cables strain will your anchor drift or firm remain as we have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll fashioned to the rock which cannot move grounded firm and deep in the Savior's life held secure by faith in the Savior's hands shielded by His grace on Christ we stand, He's Lord of all, we should never doubt, through uncertain times, He is solid ground. Yes, we have an anchor that keeps the soul, steadfast and sure. storms of life you will not let go this our confidence that our anchor holds we have an anchor that keeps the soul set fast and sure while the billows roll fast into the time for just one more song very quickly if we, we have to do it actually we have to do it, actually we actually have to do it very quickly otherwise we're going to get in trouble so uh, just a, a couple of very quick thank yous I want to say thank you to the youth band who bailed me out today because my keyboard stopped working this morning during our morning Bible reading and they have lent us very kindly this keyboard so thank you if you see any youth team yes say well done to them say thank you for bailing us out and a massive thanks to uh, Matt Dennis, who's mixing at the back on tech, and the tech team, who are doing a brilliant job for us. If you want to find any of our songs online, you can follow us on uh, Facebook and Instagram. It's Cornerstone Worship UK. We've got a website, uh, www.cornerstoneworship.co.uk, where we try to put all our sheet music online for, for free, which is available for you to use. And uh, maybe there's one or two songs that you could take home and use in your local church. We'd love that. Okay, we've got to sing this song. We're going to do Power in the Blood.
Clap your hands. Here we go. Would you be free from your burden of sin? This power in the blood. Service for Jesus the King. Would you do service for Jesus the King? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you live daily in His praises to sing? There's wonderful power in the blood. Cause there is power, power, wonder-working power. In the blood of the Lamb, yes, there is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious. Thank you. God bless. Good night. Good catch. Just